Corey, thank you for joining us. Um, a lovely 68 here at round two of the 149th Thursday. Um, can you talk to us about your round a little bit? Yeah, solid round. Uh, happy with uh, the score overall. A uh, bit of a slow, slow start, uh, but really two putt of the ball well. Had some some really long putts and was able to get it down uh, for pars uh, early in the round, kind of on the, the first nine, and uh, sort of settled in a little bit better, kind of reset myself, tried to be a little more aggressive uh, on the last six holes and hit a pretty good shot on 13, made an eagle on 14. That was a real real highlight, kind of boosted uh, boosted me up a little bit and um, gave myself some chances coming in. Uh, so overall, pretty solid round. Excellent, thank you. And we do have some questions for you from John McCarthy, please. Hey, Corey, can you uh, talk us through that eagle on 14, what clubs you hit and, and how that all went down? Yeah, good morning, John. Must, uh, not that, not that, <laughs> not that <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, 14 pole. I hit a three wood off the tee um, just down the left side of the fairway. I had 247 to the front, 260 to the hole, uh, a little bit of helping wind off the right. Um, it was a perfect uh, hybrid distance for me. It was going to land just short of the green and hop up. Hit a really solid shot. I think uh, landed a few yards short of the green, rolled up uh, to about nine feet, uh, kind of pin high, just the left of it, and um, had a, a pretty straight putt, just kind of inside left, and just just started breaking at the end and, and fell in. Uh, so that was that was nice. That's great. Oh, one follow up, and yes, I uh, I haven't had my coffee yet. If that's what you were, if that's what you were saying, but. When you're playing out there with somebody who's uh, who's got it going so well, is there any? Is it hard to stay patient? Do you start to press at any point? And um, and how was that today? Yeah, uh, you know, I was was a little disappointed with some of the iron shots I was hitting. Uh, Colin played, you know, amazing golf. He was was really hitting it well. Uh, so I was kind of disappointed with some of the shots I hit. But you know, I knew you can't force it out here. I um, just tried to, um, you know be aggressive but but not uh, not silly and just hit solid shots and was able to start doing that a little bit better towards the end of the round but uh, yeah it was impressive to watch he uh, he played well hopefully uh, can chase him down the next few days thanks Corey good luck on the weekend thank you and our next question is from Adam Stanley please yeah good morning hey Corey I haven't uh, had my coffee either um, just <laughs> Lynx golf as a whole, do you does it agree with you? Do you feel like you've navigated Lynx golf pretty well uh, up to this point and certainly this week? Yeah, I think this week uh, more so than in the past. I don't have a ton of experience uh, on on the Lynx golf, but um, yeah, I feel like my game suited well. Um, it you know puts a premium on hitting the ball solid in the wind and uh, being able to control your ball. That's something I'm, I'm good at. Um, I like using creativity as well. Fortunately, haven't uh, got myself in too many strange places uh yet but um i really like links golf in my limited experience and it's always something that i thought i you know would would be well suited for and uh it's definitely a, a fun change and a fun challenge uh for me this week uh, one quick follow-up just given your, your position on the leaderboard you're tied for six right now a couple shots back but how does the afternoon look weather wise do you think you'll still be you know in the, in the top 10 in, in the mix heading into saturday yeah the the wind honestly started calming down a little bit as we were finishing up uh, and the sun came out. Uh, not really sure. I think the, it's forecast to, to be, you know, still windy this afternoon, but uh, there's not a cloud in the sky. So uh, it'd probably be pretty sunny. And um, I think, you know, I'll get, I'll get passed by a number of players, but I'm still happy with the position I'm in. Um, I still definitely got, uh, got a shot with a few good rounds. Awesome. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, man. Thanks. And our next question is from Juan, please. Hey, Corey, so it looks like there's a generation of Canadian players, but especially this year, I mean, and that you, Mackenzie, and even Brooke with the women that are, are always in the interviews that, at the beginning of the week in the majors. No? So, and, and Brooke was saying that it has to do with the with the Canadian national team no? and the Golf Federation. But can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah. You know, there's definitely a, a lot of bright Canadians right now, and uh, it's it's great to be a part of. Um, speaking on the you know, development program they have, the national team program, um, you know, they uh, have junior team, uh, men's team, and women's team, and more in the amateur ranks. And I was fortunate to be a part of that. It, it's a great 
training platform. It's a great development platform, and they really pr provide all the resources that players need uh, in order to get ready for you know, NCAA golf, college golf, or professional golf. So I was very fortunate to uh, have been part of that. And um, you know, Derek Ingram's the, the head coach, and he's still my coach uh, now out here on tour. So uh, can't speak highly enough of him and uh, the help you know he's given all the Canadians uh, and, and continuing uh, with myself uh, to this day. Thanks. Now, next question from Bob Weeks, please. Hey Corey, uh, I've had my coffee, two cups actually. Nice work. What what have you been able What have you been able to do when you're not golfing? When you are at home, have you been able to work out? Have you been able to do anything? And like, how are you passing your time? Yeah, uh, a lot of just hanging out uh, this week, um, staying in a house with uh, my wife Mallory, Danny, and Derek. Um, playing some cards in the evening. I've uh, almost done my second book. Uh, a little bit of reading and yeah just just hanging out I, um you know it's unusual not being able to to really do anything uh kind of confined to uh, our accommodation and the golf course but um just making the most of it we're, we're having a good time it uh i like to sleep a lot as well so that uh that takes up a good chunk of my days what are you what are you reading anything interesting um uh, Billion dollar whale currently. Um, I don't know, kind of a it's a nonfiction uh, finance book about a Malaysian guy who stole some money. <laughs> not advisable. <laughs> Why am I not surprised you're reading that? Thank you. <laughs> Excellent, Corey. Thank you so much for your time today. We'll look forward to seeing you over the weekend. Thank you.